Welcome to Dallas Stock Talk, where I talk about numerous topics relating to investing, but more specifically, the stock market. Now, in this video, I'll be going over what is defined outcome ETFs, or also known as buffer ETFs, how they work, and how you might go in about purchasing this. But let's jump straight into it. So, defined outcome ETFs allows you to minimize your risk by creating what they call a, a buffer. Now, this buffer is really helpful in what I would consider bad situations. But before I go into a lot of details, I like to bring up a visual image because it's easier to follow that way. So they have the regular buffer, the power buffer, and the ultra buffer. Now, I don't want to skip too much. So these ETS mirrors indexes like the S&P 500, the S&P 2000, etc. So the ETF is supposed to replicate that performance of that particular index. Now, this right here, I really, I really, really, really enjoy what this ETF offers. So let's just jump straight into the starting buffer. So the starting buffer is if the index would have um, had a negative return at the end of the year, you of 9%, you would end up breaking even. The same applies for 15. So if the regular index that it's mirroring goes down 15% by the end of that year, which they call it period, you would break even. Now for the ultra, it works a little bit different. The first 5% doesn't count. And then after it goes down that 5%, um, the next 30%, you would pretty much be protected. So if it actually did, the index did go down 30%, you would only be down minus 5, which is a plus. All right, so I went over that part. Another visual image. So these are different scenarios that, end up, that could end up happening. I want to go through each one so you can get a good feel. So this one is 9%. In this case, you know, it's the positive return. There is a cap. There is a cap. So with these funds, at the beginning, you'll see it in the actual example, but they tell you the maximum cap you can have. And in this case, so you can see, the red, this is a general example, but the red, I mean, it reached um, the cap. So the, the fund that, well, the ETFs is the one they have is the light green, the benchmark of this one. Uh, this is a positive scenario. It's pretty much the same because you can use this line. Now the negative scenario, this is where it, this is where it really helpful. So like this one, the index dropped uh minus nine percent, but you would break even. Sweet, right? Now this is a worst case scenario. The market dropped hundred percent, which is highly unlikely. I've actually never seen it happen before. Um you would only be down on like one percent. Go to power. Same thing. Uh fifteen percent protection, first fifteen percent. Now, in this situation, let me explain this. So, if the market went in negative situation, if the market went down 10%, you, you would still break even. You have up to that 15% protection. Now, the ultra buffer, and they show you like the protection behind that line. So, the ultra, and I was explaining what I was talking about earlier. So, in you know, this case, if it went down, to, well, let me jump straight to this. If it went down, 10%, remember the first 5%, you would still end up taking the law. So they would be down 10%, but you would be only down minus 5%. Now, worst case scenario, if it goes down 100%, you would only be down 70%. This is really sweet because this allows you to take a more aggressive approach, especially if you used to the 60-40 or 50-50. And with bond yields becoming lower and lower you might want to find other alternative strategies where you could be you could also play aggressive but not too aggressive so that's why i'm really looking into this actually i probably will pull the trigger but enough of that let's get into an actual example of how it works okay so this is an actual example this is the s p 500 that they end up having in January. Now I must say, this part of the video, this part right here, you need to pay attention to it very carefully because if you don't, uh, things will not turn out pretty well like you expected. 
Now you remember these are this is the ETF you can buy and sell at any time. But you remember that protection I was telling you about the buffer and the max cap? Well, in order for that to apply, it has it has to the whole period has to be over. So it's 365 days. So in order for that buffer to kick in, it has to be at the end of the period. And that'll show you how many days are remaining. Once again, let me say this because this is very important. So if you trade midway or something like that, you're like, oh, you said the buff. No, that's not how it works. You had because the this ETF is actually composed of options with a contract where you have to buy and sell at a certain price depending on a certain day. So you need to make sure I'm just saying the buffer will stay into effect at the end of the paper. And this is like a this is one of the examples. With the light green is the light green is actually the index and the darker color is there. So if you can see it, it slightly adjusted the price. The price is slightly fluctuates, but at the end, like this is about to be the end. It's one day left. The cap is right there. So this year was pretty good for the market. It was up twenty nine percent. You don't normally get returns like that, but this was a good year. But you would have gotten twenty two percent, which is well twenty two point three zero. Which is still pretty good, but um, hey, I think it's good. All right, so let me go down. And here's another thing. Me personally, I like to buy the ETF when the day it's released, and they release it um at the beginning of each month. Because if not, then you have to worry about um remaining cap downside before buffer and all this other stuff. I'm gonna explain it. But I like to keep it simple because I know, okay, if I buy it on day 365, this downside be downside before a buffer, I don't even have to worry about that. All I have to worry about, okay, at the end of the year, my buffer protection, if I got the regular buffer is 9% and the max cap I can get is 22.305. I can still buy and sell any of that. And this, I can still buy and sell anytime I want. But um, this in the starting prices, which I would pay for that amount. But if I would have bought it on a different date, like this date, in order for this buffer to kick in, that's why you kind of really got to understand how this works, it would have to go down 17.71% before the remaining buffer end, to end up, uh, before the um, buffer end up kicking in. And this is just telling you the remaining amount until it, it reaches there. So, I mean... A, to each his own, I like to keep it simple. They also provide, if you want to, you know, not buy it on the day it first came out, they also have a, uh, it's called the time tool, where if you wanted to pick a, a different day, just drag the mouse across, and you would just, the day you bought it, make sure you can see it, the day you bought it, the starting buffer, the downside buffer, the starting buffer. Yeah, so you you get it. So if for someone who wants to be more in depth or they're familiar with option trade, hey, it's there. Hold on, let me go back. Yeah, so I think it's a wonderful. I think it's a wonderful ETF. I'm actually waiting for January second because I'm going to actually purchase. The Russell 2000, the power buffer. I just need to see what my max cap will be. And I actually, speaking of that, I, I went, um, this is one of the downsides I want to say about it. A lot of times when I called them, they, they gave me a brief answer. It's like, oh, you can just go to our website. And they, when they yeah, so I was just like, mm -hmm. I just went. Because this is something new. I haven't seen this setup or struck. This is not universal. So I would like if they went into the screen, they went into a little bit more details instead of just making a statement. But whatever. They do have a, a chat. And I actually post the question, a general question. And they it's like, okay. Well, the question I actually, actually let me get to the actual question. I was like, because I wanted to know what the max cap it would be when this is released. I wanted to find it the earliest time. So they'll say, okay, by the close of date tomorrow, um, you can just check our website. You know what I mean? But, so, close of business tomorrow, I'm going to have my non-alcoholic rosé.
and we're going to be ready to jump into this. And that concludes Dallas Stock Talk. I hope you really enjoyed what you've seen. If you did, hit the like button below. Make sure you leave comments. I really enjoyed that. And if you really enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm out.